shoot Danny Barr out of the number 97 car. Number 46 is Dave. Hey, good to have Dave Burnham back once again. Dave Burnham in the 46 car. Of course, Bo Routon has been winning a lot of races this year. He's the leader of points in his class. He rides, drives the 87 Coyote. And uh, the number eight car of Corey Lee with us tonight. Number seven car of Randy Burkhart. And the uh, 48 car of Bobby Gray, 48, the yellow 48 car of Bobby Gray. And of course, number 28, Joe Dulock out of Waco. So, we, all right, Danny Barr on the pole, about ready to get underway with our first heat for the modified then. Here we go. Ah, Dave Burnham does a great job. Getting around the outside of Danny Barr. Danny Barr runs second. Keep your eyes on the 87 Coyote of one Mr. Bo Rudd. He does sail. about three or four weeks, but he, you never know it. He looks great. And the old 46 car out front with Bo Rowan in his close second. Uh, in third is Danny Barr. In fourth, Randy Burkhardt. Bo oh, trying to get down the inside of Burnham. He does that. Burnham. Problems with the 46 car. He takes it back to the pits. And there he goes back to the pits. There's your leader coming up turn two. And in here there he is. Bo Rob doing a fine job up in front. Got a lot of real estate between leader Rob and the second place bar. One lap remaining. One lap. in the number 70 car. And uh, out of Waco, number five, Keith Green. Now let me point out that beautiful number 14 car, that's Mark Madison. Yes, Mark Madison, the former sprint car driver. This car, ladies and gentlemen, the number 14 car, looks beautiful and brand new, right? It's a seven-year-old Walco chassis. Do you remember Edward Suggs? He used to race that car. That's Mark Madison in the 14 car. Number one is Di Coke out of Halton City. Hey, good to see James Moss back in his good old ride. Uh, you've heard the name Eldon Dotson. That was Eldon Dotson's car the last couple of years. Before that, it was barefoot Bob McCready who won Syracuse, New York in the Miller 300 of, uh, back in 86 or 87 in that car. And who else we got? Number 78 is Paul Honish. Paul, Paul out here in his 78 ride. All right, Moss and Green up in front. And we're off. Whoa, James Moss got up there in a marble. That's probably like a little thing, like one, two, three places. Uh, Richard Green, uh, boy, I don't know. The track is ultra smooth, I guess. Richard's just got a little bit of a soft setup. There's your leader, Keith Green. Keith 
screen can do no wrong. He looks on top of it tonight. Really, really looking good. Had a lot of problems in the uh, heart of Texas Speedway in Waco last night during the uh, fourth race of the Texas All-Star Modified Series. He uh, completely destroyed a quick change rear end, which is unheard of in these cars, but they showed me the uh, heavy gear out of that car, and a bunch of teeth were stripped off. And most unusual. But Keith apparently not having rear end problems tonight. Or engine problems, or a leader problem. Richard Green is second. Guy Coke running up there as well. Then that beautiful number 14 car of Mark Madison. See Keith hacks on at the wheel. He's doing an excellent job. Uh-oh, Die Coke got a smoky car. Poor old Dyke has had nothing but problems in one car this year. Whether it be engine or uh, transmission or drivetrain problems, but uh, he takes the number one black car back to the pit. remaining. And here comes Keith out of turn four. And Keith ever so gently makes his way on by the checkered flag for the win. Keith Green, of course. Let's down in Waco. Harvey Cox, the owner of that car. 